I wasn't really aware of how the European uh, democratic system worked. So it was quite interesting to meet with uh, the assistant and one MMP to talk about their, their work inside the, the parliament. The parliamentary world is a complex world. Uh, uh, this complexity makes uh, the, the situation more difficult to understand to the citizens. So that's why as well probably uh, those institutions are not so transparent as we would like because as it's complex, the citizens don't get so involved in, in the process. People blame Europe for not taking the necessary decisions or failing to implement the regulations properly, which is actually a legitimate argument. If we'd enforce the Maastricht criteria for the Eurozone countries, we would never now be in this uh, situation. As the parliamentarians explain us, it's, it's quite easy. But the, the real thing is that the people who has the money has the influence to influence the parliamentarians. And uh, this is a, a very big problem, very big trouble, because uh, I feel that the civil society doesn't have the, the, the proper influence uh, over his representatives. And the main consequence is this crisis, the main. And the next consequence is a less democratic European Union now, today. Of those 15 to 20,000 or more lobbyists, uh, most of them like to be close to the EU institutions. So they are in, in the EU quarter here. Uh, and that is an area that is quite small, maybe it's four square kilometers. Well, I'm very impressed at how much power is concentrated in such few square meters. You know, when I was standing in the middle of Schumann Square and I looked around and here's the commission and there's the council and a few blocks away is the parliament. I think all these people are deciding 50% of the laws that are um, issued by state members now have their origin in European Union regulations. We're standing in front of the European Training Institutes. This is one of, of several um, lobby schools in Brussels. They, they offer um, half day, one day or two day courses in how to lobby the EU institutions. What can we do? Join forces, you know? Get together and put pressure on, on our governments, on the European Union, on anybody who has power to decide. We should, you know, get to them and, and ask them to change things. I don't, I don't want to be rich, I want to be happy. And that's what we want, we need to, to understand, that happiness is what we want. And happiness is to have your basic levels of life fulfilled. Happiness is to be able to work in what you like. Happiness is uh, to not to be worrying about your future.